welcome to Storytime with me, Liz. Now today we're going to be reading a story together and it's one of your favourite stories because I've had some comments and I've also been talking to some of my friends in the nursery and they've been telling me all about their favourite story books. And um, my friend Ruby tells me that this is one of her favourite books because she really likes the colour blue. And in this story, we're going to see lots and lots of different colours. And we're going to do the Makaton. Now, when I'm reading the story, I won't be able to um, do the Makaton as much because I've got to hold the book. So I thought I'd do it, uh, I'd show you the signs now. So we're going to be um, seeing the colour white. And we do white like that, white. And we're going to be seeing the colour blue so we point to the vein in our hand that's a blue and we're going to be seeing the color red so we point to our lips red and we're going to be seeing the color brown and we rub our wrists together like that and that's brown and also we're going to meet a character that we've met before he is blue he's furry he is very very cool He's got a great attitude about life and his name begins with a P and he's a cat. Meow. Yes, that's right. It's Pete the cat. <laughs> now, last time we met Pete, he was telling us all about his fabulous buttons. But in this story, we're not going to find out about his fabulous buttons. Oh, no. We're going to find out all about his shoes because the title of the story is Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. And the author is Eric Litwin and the illustrator is James Dean. So let's find out all about Pete's rather cool collection of shoes, shall we? Here we go. Now we're gonna do some singing as well in this song, so do join in. I love it when you sing with me. Oh, there he is, those fabulous shoes. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much that he sang this song. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What colour did it turn his shoes? What colour? Yeah, that's right. It turned them red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along, singing his song. Ooh. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What colour did it turn his shoes? What colour? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Turn them blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along, singing his song. I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What colour did it turn his shoes? Are you ready? Can you tell me? Can I hear? What was it? Yeah, that's right. Brown. Did Pete cry? No, goodness no. He kept walking along, singing his song. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red 
was washed away. Hmm. So what colour were his shoes again? Can you remember? Tell me. Oh, that's right. Well done. Yes. They were white. But now they were wet. But did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along, singing his song. I love my wet shoes, I love my wet shoes, I love my wet shoes. So, the moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. because it's all good. Oh, we've come to the end of the story. I can see lots of other coloured shoes hanging on the line there. Oh, I can see why Pete kept going with singing his song, because he loved the sh that the, his shoes were changing. Oh, what a lovely story. And no matter what happens, Keep singing your song because it's all good. Thank you for joining in and helping me read the story. Until I see you soon, remember, stay safe, keep washing your hands and keep smiling. Bye for now. Bye bye.